In this lecture, we will cover the definition of test activities. The learning objective here is to describe the test activities and respective tasks within the test process. This topic is marked as K2. As of now, test planning and test monitoring and control activities are covered. Now we will focus on test analysis, test design, test implementation, test execution, and test completion. Let's first start with test analysis. During test analysis, the test basis is analyzed to identify testable features and define associated test conditions. Now I will break down this definition and explain to you with the help of an example. The first point which you need to remember is, during test analysis, we look for what to test. The first point is, during test analysis, test basis is analyzed. As we know, test basis is nothing but the requirement. During this stage, we analyze the requirement. Suppose this is the requirement. We need a light system which will glow when the door is open and close when the door is closed, and the system should work like mentioned. The second step is to identify testable features. What that means is, after analyzing the requirement, we need to get a testable feature from it. That means, in this requirement, we need to find testable features. From this requirement, we get this as a testable feature. Light should glow when the door is open and close when the door is closed. And the third step is to define test condition. From the test feature, we finally derive these test conditions. The light should glow when the door is open. The light should not glow when the door is closed. So that is why we say, during test analysis, the test basis is analyzed to identify testable features and define associated test conditions. The next test activity is test design. And during test design, the test conditions are elaborated into high-level test cases, sets of high-level test cases, and other testware. Now let's see an example to understand this definition. During test analysis, we used to ask what to test, whereas during test design, we ask how to test. Here, the first point is, the test conditions are elaborated into high-level test cases. Previously, we saw how to get test conditions from test basis. During test design, we get test conditions as input to write high-level test cases. This is an example of how we write the test case. Test case 1 is switch on power, open door, check light on, switch off power. Test case 2 is switch on power, close door, check light off, switch off power. These two test cases will cover two test conditions. Now, along with writing test cases, we also identify the defect in the test basis. Because while writing the test case, we refer to the test condition and test basis. And during this, if we find any mistake, we will report it. That's why we say, during test design, the test conditions are elaborated into high-level test cases, sets of high-level test cases, and other testware. After test design comes test implementation. And during test implementation, the testware necessary for test execution is created and or completed, including sequencing the test cases into test procedures. Now let's understand this with the help of an example. As of now, we know during test analysis, we ask what to test. During the test design, we ask how to test. And now, during test implementation, we ask, do we now have everything in place to run the tests? The first point here is, test where necessary for a test execution is created and or completed. To test the requirement, we need a computer, a switch, a battery, door, and light. 
So during test implementation, we need to arrange them and check if they are in a ready state. The second point is sequencing the test cases into test procedures. During test design, we write high-level test cases and during test implementation, we write low-level test cases. Low-level test cases contain the detailed sequence of actions required to perform testing. And the last point is related to test scripts. This comes into picture if you are doing automation. Using high-level test cases, you develop the test scripts, which can be executed automatically with the help of test automation tools. That's why we say, during test implementation, the testware necessary for a test execution is created and or completed including sequencing the test cases into test procedures. After test implementation comes test execution. And during test execution, test suits are run in accordance with the test execution schedule. Here we ask the question, are all tests run? The first point is, here we run all the test suits. By now, we know test suits are nothing but a group of test cases or test scripts in a certain order. Let's understand this point. During test implementation, we developed low-level test cases or test scripts. These test scripts are grouped together so that they all can be executed at once. The second point is to compare and evaluate the result. When the test cases are executed, the measured data is compared with expected data present in the test oracle. But both matches, we say the test is passed. But if they do not match, we say the test case is failed. That's why we say during test execution, test suits are run in accordance with the test execution schedule. Last activity of test process is test completion. Test completion activities collect data from completed test activities to consolidate experience, testware, and any other relevant information. So, this is the activity where we collect all the output from the previous activity. Let's now understand this. Until now we saw, in test planning output is test plan, in test monitoring output is feedbacks, in test analysis, output is test conditions. The output of test design is a high-level test case. The output of test implementation is a test script or a low-level test case. And the output of test execution is the test result. During test completion, all this information is collected as stored. Now let's revise all the definitions again before we end this lecture. The first point is test analysis. During test analysis, the test basis is analyzed to identify testable features and define associated test conditions. And we ask what to test. The second activity is test design. During test design, the test conditions are elaborated into high-level test cases sets of high-level test cases, and other testware. And we ask the question, how to test? The third activity is test implementation. During test implementation, the testware necessary for test execution is created and or completed, including sequencing the test cases into test procedures. And here we ask, is everything ready for the test? The fourth activity is test execution. During test execution, test suites are run in accordance with the test execution schedule. Here we can ask, are all the results compared? The fifth activity is test completion. Test completion activities collect data from completed test activities to consolidate experience, testware, and any other relevant information. Here we can ask, have we collected all the data?